With that said, I'd like to turn it over to um, our host tonight, Rob Humble. And um, for y'all don't know that Rob was with uh, Matthew Taylor for like ever. That's running their construction division. Now he's Rob and I head up Florida Premier Contractors. Got the lights to Well, thank you, Bruce. For those of you that know Bruce, it won't be any surprise that he just covered every single thing that I was going to cover. <laughs> there are a few other people here I'd like to recognize. Uh, Bruce mentioned Byron Russell with Chain, but uh, Warren Newell is also here, who's been a big part of the, the project here in town. And we'll continue to help. We've also got uh, Kumar Mandavian, uh, Dan uh, Vivak, and Tom Kerr with Mo Marine here. And I think all of you are familiar with that project and the excitement that we have uh, working on that and continuing to help them with their efforts to expand you know, back into Charlotte now. <laughs> Somebody said every, every cloud's got a silver lining. And, you know, the economy that we are faced with today has certainly been that cloud. Uh, but one of the silver linings has been, well, every project we've worked on, we've had to work harder, a lot harder than we would have a few years ago. Uh, but one of the good things that's come out of that are some of the relationships that we've built. Uh, one of those relationships is, is with Senator Benacquista. Um, I'd like to say that I called her and asked for help, or Bruce called her and asked her to help, uh, but we didn't. She actually called us. She found out some of the things that were going on down here, what we were involved with, and she reached out to us and wanted to know how she could help. Uh, she's made several trips down here. She's introduced us to key people at the state level that I think will help us on our current projects, uh, but she's helped us forge some long-term relationships with those people at the state that I think are going to serve this county well for, for years to come. Um, for the last four years, the Senator's represented Charlotte County extremely well, in spite of the fact that her district spanned from Charlotte County to Palm Beach County. It was a very, very long and drawn-out district and certainly hard to represent all the constituents, but she's done that. Uh, the good news is that the current district, uh, the way they've been redrawn, she's going to be able to focus even more of her time on Charlotte County. It represents a bigger part of her district, and I think it's going gonna, it's gonna to allow us to, to grow to the next level uh, with her help as well. Um, so with that, if you would, join me in welcoming, supporting, and re-electing Senator Greta Quisto uh, for the Florida State Senate. just said everything I would have said. <laughs> Thank you all for being here. It really means so much to me that you would come on a Wednesday night, Wednesday, and, and spend some time with me and just visit a little bit, share your thoughts about what's important for your community and, and the ways in which we can work together to make a really strong and lasting difference for for the county, the city of Punta Gorda. So I thank Bruce Lashley for his friendship. I thank Rob for their stick to to make sure that even when we asked to come and learn about the issues that we were facing and how we could be helpful, they took us on tours. They showed us the hot spots, the low spots, the areas that needed attention, and talked about all of the good people. You might not know it, but they talk about you when you're not around all the great things that you are individually and collectively working on. And so it's an incredible pleasure to have the opportunity to represent you. And uh, I'll, I'll do what I was asked not to do, but I'm going to do it anyway. Byron Russell, who's here, uh, you know, it, it, we all think about the ways in which we can contribute to our communities and how we can grow the very special uh, business that we think will change the way people get services delivered. And they just hit a billion dollar sales mark for Cheney Brothers, and that's a really special thing to have happen in this economy. So we're very proud of Cheney Brothers. He doesn't like that, but when you say you don't like it, it happens. <laughs> but we're very proud of their commitment to Charlotte County, and, and the state is going to think a willing partner in making sure that that would, that would work. And then we'll just look to get Bob Simpson to open the spot here too. But I've had just an incredible uh, 18 months in the Florida Senate. It's just amazing to be still a freshman, uh, 
but when we're re-elected, we'll, we'll lose that title. But we've done some really good things on behalf of our constituents from bills that we passed. We filed 13 bills this year. I passed 11, and nine of them were signed into law by the governor. So we're very proud. Very proud of that work because those those new laws focus on creating a new and vibrant economy at the Kennedy Space Center, making sure that it can be transformed and transformed into a commercial space exploration hub. And we we passed legislation to protect children from sexual predators. And we passed legislation to make sure that we can expand the opportunities for children of low-income families to get a real quality education. And I think of all of those things, there isn't a favorite of the bills that we've passed, but in, in the collective, they weave together a story that shows you who I am and what I believe in, which is keeping our neighborhood safe, keeping a great education system there for our children, and making sure that our business environment is it's a kind that welcomes the investment of Cheney Brothers in this community, that, that facilitates uh, LESAR and their expansion. And, and I just hope for the opportunity to continue to do that, because as I visit with you all and learn about your stories and the individual ways in which you work and, and play and um, compete in the YMCA run, <laughs> it, it really tells the story of why I want to serve, which is people thank me for the work I do, but really all I'm doing is highlighting the good work that you're doing. <laughs> and making sure that you have the opportunity to live your dream and to create a future that's better for your children and to make sure that this remains an incredible place to live. And when we are re-elected, which I'm very hopeful and we're working hard that we do, we're going to continue to focus on those same things, being very fiscally conservative with your tax dollars. We passed a budget this year that balanced a shortfall of a billion and a half dollars but took no additional monies from you. And there are ways that we can continue to save money and do better on your behalf and create systems that are more efficient and save even more tax dollars moving forward. But as we, we go forward, we'll be continue to be focused on making sure that we're responsible and conservative and make sure that we hold true to the same values that I share along the campaign trail and, and put in practice during my service. And I'd love to answer any questions that you might have Certainly the time visiting with you is, is very appreciated. We have eight days, I'm sorry, June 8th is, is qualifying. And I know there are many other folks in this room who are waiting for that very same day to see what their, what their path to re-election looks like. And I hope you'll support the very good people in this room who stand with me on the ballot. But I look forward to a very rich, long, and productive friendship uh, that really makes Charlotte County that much stronger. And as was mentioned, I do have the incredible privilege of increasing my share of Charlotte County from about 200 voters to about 33,000 residents of Charlotte County. So you will demand my full attention, which you got anyway, but I would love to be here more. And we're gonna open an office here and be a real presence in the community. So you know you have someone who's here to listen, to work on, on your behalf, and to make things really uh, better, stronger, and we think more vibrant for Charlotte County. And I just appreciate the opportunity to be here with you. Thank you for your support. It means a lot. And again, I'm, I'm happy to answer any questions you have. Position on internet sales tax collection. It's, it's one of the trickiest situations you will find. And as much as you uh, advocate for the online real, real retailers to have to be bound by the same requirements and restrictions that bricks and mortar folks should have to, it's such an incredible challenge to pass that. Because in this climate, 
any thought of a new tax on anyone is so so unfriendly to the electorate. But it, it really is fair that folks should bear the same burdens when they're selling the same products. You guys are a great group. <laughs> Thank you very much for being here. I appreciate it. to apologize. I, I missed a few people during the introductions. Um, these, these people are all very important to the county and to the city. Uh, Harvey Goldberg, our vice mayor. Stephen R. Deutsch, county commissioner. Gary Sasco, airport authority member. I saw Jane Sturgis. Is she still here? Jane Sturgis, one of our uh, local CRA members. She already left. So. Okay. Thank, thank you all for coming. Please stay. Enjoy the food, the drinks, and, and if you had a chance to talk to Elizabeth, please, uh, please try to do so before she gets out of here tonight.